Hopefully I'll be able to knock that in. Poor little birdie. Get it back to all square. What if I make mine? It doesn't matter because technically I still won the hole. Sunflower, folks. Back in the action with another Sunday match. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful Sunday out here. Today, we are playing Sunflower Hills. You guys have seen it many times before. In our matches, they've only seen it once. Oh, what, it, really? One time. But, like That's my one. point is, you've seen Sunflower a lot. Don't talk to me. So anyway, today, the points of our matches are currently at 14 to nine. And I won the last three, so obviously I have honors. Comeback season in full force. Hopefully I can continue this comeback here on match number 24, is it? Is it 24 already? Guys, can you believe that we've done 24 weeks of these matches? Um, if you're just now showing up, if you're just now kind of tuning into what we're doing here, thank you. Me and Garrett play competitive matches every single Sunday. And today's match is, like you said, out at Sunflower. Last week we were at Colonial. As you know, I played pretty bad. Been working really hard since then. Maybe it'll it'll pay off today, but we'll see. We are playing the tips out here, and Garrett's hitting driver. It's pretty straightaway par four, as we're looking at right there. So. Oh, and I kind of almost dropped the camera but he hit a little draw right up uh right central right central that was my first swing of the day felt pretty good up the right center side of the fairway i'm impressed with your drive oh the fact that i actually hit the fairway yeah take up here with driver that is gonna be right rough it's over there on the right I can't say they've ever hit a drive that far in this hole. We're running up on our ball here. My ball. I'm in the middle of the fairway. How's it feel, Tig? You know what? My philosophy is kind of like what they do on tour. They just hit as hard as they can, and then they go find it, and they hit it again. Fairways are overrated. That's what they do nowadays. It's kind of weird. He has about 110 yards probably to the pin. Pins all the way in the back. Trying to get this up and down for Bert. Dang, guys. He's kind of striping it right out of the gate. That's going to be a little bit left, but I think it's been high. That's long. A little bit left and long. This is literally insane. Like, I feel like I'm delusional right now. Like, I hit my ball, and it was going right along the cart path, and it was going, like, almost to the cart path, and that's 40 yards over there, and my ball is somehow literally 50 I, yards on the exact <laughs> opposite side of the fairway. That is probably one of the craziest things I've seen on a golf course in a while. Yeah, all right, I probably got, like, 60 yards to the pin. We're dialed in. We're ready to make a little birdie on the first hole. Let's get some hype in the chat. Here we go. We got Tig with 60 degree. Oh, is he dialing it? This looks good. This looks good. That could be... Hard to tell. I think yeah. it's long. But. Could be long, could be short, could be in the hole. I'm walking up to the green here, folks. As you can tell, my ball is actually a little bit short right there on the left side, putting up the hill for my birdies. Hopefully I can dial this one in the hole. Can he dial this one in and start off with a hot birdie? Looking pretty good. Mm, ah. Gotta be careful with that one. They can get away from you really easy. Hopefully I can make that for par. Garrett has this for birdie and to win the hole. Wow. That's gonna be pretty much just a gimme. Wow, I said it right. You did say it right there. It's a gimme. No, shut it. Guys, a little par on the first hole. I really just gotta see it feel trusted today on the green. Here we go, we got take for his par and to hide up after one. Right in the heart, what a putt and what a par. After hole one, guys, the match is all square. On a hole two, par five, dog leg left. Hole two, little dog leg left, into the wind, par five. I got driver in hand. Straight into the wind, and this hole is, it's actually about 500 yards from the tips. By playing a little bit longer today, Garrett going with driver on this par five. Pretty gettable hole if you hit a good drive. Hey, he kept it under the wind, and that is gonna be headed for that little group of trees. <laughs> I sure can't not ideal. the win, folks. <laughs> Got a little quick on that swing. That you know, we're not we're not gonna say it. Okay, that was that was a little bit of the handsy hook. It's back, but you know, I aimed right, so that's alright. That is perfect, folks. Right over this group of trees in the center of the fairway. Um Tig could honestly not have hit a better shot. I'm gonna try to keep an eye on it until it lands. I see it. Okay. Guys, There's a gap! We have made it to Garrett's ball right here, but look at this. Are you going for that gap? Yeah, I mean, I got six iron. I'm just gonna try and like play it high if anything. All right, so I'm gonna step right here. I'm gonna show you guys if you can see right there. That is the green side bunker. Wow, this wind is blowing hard. Where'd it's, it go? 
it's right underneath that tree. I mean, guys, is it ideal? Absolutely not. Can I still make birdie? 100%. Like, are you kidding me? But honestly, I really did hit a good shot there. Just didn't get high enough. I got two and four iron here. I got about 220. This is what I'm looking at. This is like, I can't swing. I have to like stand super tall here, guys. If I hit this shot on the green, I don't care who you are. You have to subscribe and DM Matt and tell him he's short. Okay, so I actually really want him to hit this on the green now. So he's gonna go for a little low hook. He's got about 225 left. The green is right on the other side of this tree. Did he get there? That was probably one of the best shots I've hit in my life. I'm just kidding. I don't know if it's on the green. Bro! What? Everybody at home, I don't know if it's on the green. It might be a little short. That literally was probably one of the best shots I've hit it ever. So hopefully we're on the green. I might be just a little short, but I still got a chip to get up and down for par. So it's all good. All right, guys, I might just be a little short, but instead of DMing Matt, if you guys want to hit that subscribe button just for the effort and the pure shot from right there, that would be much appreciated. So it takes about 160. He's into the wind, but it could fly. I'm going to hit Garrett's 9-iron. Long is dead. If I'm a little bit short, it's okay. I think I can get it to the front edge of the green and the pin's in the front. So let's see what happens. This is for Albatross. Par 5 here. Oh, no. A little right. I could have hit pitching wedge, but it's on the green. But I got a long putt. I think he might have rolled over the green. Probably. Guess what? what? I'm back in. I'm still making birdie. You're still making bogey. Oh, I'm chipping that in. So they are redoing the bunker here on hole two. So it is grounded and repair, but just look at this, guys. The shot I hit from back there was struck perfectly right at the pin, just short about 20 yards. So once again, I'm really quite happy with it. I'm going to drop like right back in there, try and get this one up and down for a par. Down the, uh, down the hill a little bit. So he could get one closer that would be ideal if this releases it's going to be pretty good it's a little bit short probably about six or eight feet short but he does have a putt at par i would just like to see if i can two putt this guys having this putt for par on hole two is pretty tragic if you guys haven't played hole two before or sunflower in general hole two is probably the easiest hole on the course in my opinion so simple you can miss it anywhere and still make par birdie so. pig's got this to uh two putt for his birdie and seal the deal here on hole two and go one up in the match Honestly, that was a perfect line. Not a very good lag putt there, but Garrett has this putt to tie the hole and really put some pressure on me. See if he can do it. This would be extremely clutch. Oh my gosh. You can't get any closer than that without making it. So he's gonna tap that in for his bogue. Dang, that's tough. There he is in four par. Boom. All right, so after hole two, Tig is one up. He won that with a par, and like I was saying, that's probably the easiest hole on the course, and it should never win with par, but sometimes it happens, guys. On to hole three, par four, really gettable. Hopefully, uh, we can make some birdies. Walking up to the tee here. This is kind of what I'm looking at, guys. Dog leg right, par four. And here Tig goes with the driver. I also got driver in hand. See if he can dial it up in here. That. It's just going to be over there on the right side, but he hits it far enough, so typically that ends up being totally fine. That one might be a little bit too far to the right. I, don't, I hate missing it to the right like that. A little frosty. A little hot out here. Honestly, probably driver's not the play here, but I hit driver so many times that it's like, why not? You never know. Mine might have bounced 40 yards left. Okay, where did that come from, Garrett? Guys, I'm not really sure, but I might drop back to the two iron. I don't know. It's It might be mental, it might not, but I'm just going to be honest. I've not been hitting this driver good at all, but every other club has been fine. And like when I'm playing the tips at Sunflower, I want to pull out driver and stuff because like that's typically what you should do, but I'm just not hitting it good. That's two duck hooks with the driver in a row. It's really giving me a bad vibe. It was a bit of a <laughs> aggressive draw, as we like to call it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of a, more of an aggressive draw than most people. Most people probably say it's a little bit of a hook, but you know, who am I? What are I know so this is what Garrett's looking at right here the pins right there okay he has about a, he has about a buck 50 left about he's one, probably hitting pitching wedge yeah I got P wedge 
This is going a little bit right. Okay, that's actually on the green. From that lie in that position, that's a pretty good shot, guys. Here we go, we got Tig's ball. Once again, just right of the fairway. I was just left. He bombed it, honestly. This is what he's looking at. He's gotta keep it under the split. See, this is where having a wrench finder would be nice because I only wanna carry this to the front of the field. He's going with 56. Oh, oh no. Tough shot, honestly. Just out of position, off the tee. We have not played this hole very well yet, so far. I'm chipping this in. Okay, walking up to the green here. I still got about 35, 40 feet for my birdie. Right there, guys. Not an easy putt, but uh, I definitely can possibly two putt it. And then we got Tig here, long of the green, trying to chip this one in the hole. He ended up being in a decent position here. That's a pretty good shot there. It's gonna be a little short. I'll give that to him. Dead gummit. My short game is probably one of the weakest parts of my game, so to be able to get that within a foot is feels good. It takes the pressure off of having to make a putt. This putt right here to win the whole long birdie putt across the green. Wow, that's really good distance. So I'm gonna give that to him. After three holes, I'm one up in the match onto about 160 yard par three. I think things are starting to heat up. Not just like because it's hot outside. Oh, I'm gonna slap you. All right, we're on hole four here, downwind, par three. I got pitching wedge in hand, it's about 165 yards, but it is playing so much shorter because it's downhill and downwind. Think about 155 and just like commit to that number. Sit, sit, sit. Wow, that's such a bad shot. I'm a long ways from the hole. Hopefully I can still make that putt though. If this goes. Is that like two feet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is, Tig. Yeah. It is. I mean, I can't see it, but. Guys, that felt good. That was a little pitching wedge. It's been a weird day so far, so it feels good to hit a really solid shot. Hopefully, I'll be able to knock that in. For a little birdie, get it back to all square. What if I make mine? It doesn't matter, because technically, I still won the hole. Huh? That's me right there. I'm about four feet up the hill. I'm gonna tell you guys, I could three putt from here, so I gotta stay dialed in on the putt. Take all the way here on the front side of the green for his birdie. Needs to hit a good putt here. And he gave that a good run at it. I, I took my tee out just in case. Good putt. That was pretty good speed, I'm not gonna lie. It's about two feet long, but I had to make sure and get it there. I hit it on the line that I was looking at, so I can't be upset with that. Good opportunity for Garrett here to get this match back to all square after four. So. I'm wrong. Wow, that's a really good birdie on this hole, I'm not gonna lie. You didn't think I was gonna make that. I didn't. <laughs> Guys, his prediction of me missing it is a pretty fair prediction because most of you guys know I have not been making putts at all so that feels really good that's a huge confidence booster took my time took my practice strokes and just told myself put a good stroke on it if it goes in it goes in and I think I just need to start doing that more often after hole four matches all square let's go Garrett got the match back to all square with that birdie putt pretty clutch putt there I'm not gonna lie so he has honors obviously and this is what we're looking at the dog leg left par four it goes hard to the left Garrett's hitting two iron I'm probably hitting three iron I may switch to two and I don't know but wind is pretty much off the right. Another scorable hole if you hit a good tee shot. Maybe a little heavy, but that's a really good shot. That's gonna turn. Yeah, that's right there. So that's, I think that's in the fairway. You know, one of those things, guys. I barely made contact, and luckily these fairways are so hard that that still rolled 70 yards once it landed. We got Tig with his three iron. Gotta go. I knew I should have switched to two hours. Pig! Honestly, didn't see it land, but it's somewhere over there on the left side. The wind took it for sure. Is Tig, that... you Tig. can't do making, that's a stupid mistake. Tig, Tig, what are you doing, man? I got it. Ah. Uh. All right, walking over Tig's ball. Obviously, as you guys heard, know I'm in the fairway. Tig got somewhat of an unfortunate break, but also not terrible because I think he might be able to send this over the trees. I'm gonna show you what he's looking at right now. He's got an opening right there, but he, ha, ah, that's gonna be tough. He has to hit that super high and super far. I can't, oh, that's just too risky. It'll, I'm just gonna hit a little seven iron. Birdie is not out of play. It's never out of play unless you're literally, you can't make birdie on the hole anymore. That's inspiring. That was inspirational, guys. Oh my, 
This looks so good. That needs a sit. No, it doesn't, Tig. That might be in the hole, bro. It might be. That, I hit that perfect. That might be in the hole. Who needs to make par? I do. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm checking in after that. Is it down wet? What? Bro? What did I just say? I guess I am checking in after that shot. Garrett has like 125 yeah. yards here. Oh, Jimmy, sometimes I don't quite get my own my mind. Garrett has 52 degree, and this is what he's looking at right here. He's got about 125, 100, maybe yeah, 130. I, did 52 there. I think you can with a little baby draw. Yeah. Get it there. This the is going to be a little bit up. left. The wind is taking it. I think that's pin high on the left side of the green. It set really soft. I didn't see it take a big bounce. He should be okay. I'm kind of excited to see where mine is. It went. All right, walking up to the green here. Tig's ball is actually way short, apparently. Uh, this is what he's looking at. And mine, once again, was about pin high, but the wind just took it straight left, so. It is what it is. I got that putt up the hill for my birdie. Garrett is coming from way downtown. He's probably got about 30 feet. We actually, believe it or not, our balls are about the same distance from the hole. I think Garrett's a little out. And I think we should just take note of his outfit today. It's looking really, really classy. I mean, black on black with some white shoes. Like, I think he really put a lot of thought into that outfit, to be honest. Mm, pretty good speed. It was a little bit short, but he has about three feet left for his par. I did not see that break at the end, but felt like a good stroke though, so I'm happy about that. For his birdie, folks. Can he dial it up in here? I had a weird feeling when he got over this putt he was gonna make it. It's never out of play unless you're literally you can't make birdie on the hole. No, anymore. I I've how many times have I been wrong? on the weird feelings when you're putting. I genuinely do not think I ever have. Right after he hit the ball, I said it, but I was thinking before he hit it, I, for some reason, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. I was thinking in my mind, I was like, he's gonna make this putt. I just know he's gonna make it. So what is it about, I wanna, so what is it, it about go, that? Go through what, what is the mindset? Is it something that I'm doing that makes you think I'm gonna make it? I have no clue. Here's your team. But that specific time, it, I got the feeling. I don't know what it is, man. That was perfect speed, too. Just tipped over the edge. I like it when it just tips over the edge. Kind of... That's alright, though. I also have a weird feeling that I'm going to win this match, so... He's not right. <laughs> alright, hole six. Hardest hole in the course. Super tight. Into the wind. Par five. Tiggs got driver. I got driver. It's one of those holes that, if you're going to miss, you want to miss over here. You typically have a shot if you hit in the right trees and you hit it well off the tee, but there really isn't much of a miss other than that. So, Tiggs got drive here. Trying to dial it up in here. Yeah, that's gonna be fine over there in the right rough, guys. He really, he pounded that one. I went out after it with confidence, but with the way that wind is blowing, hitting that little fade like I'm hitting, it just gets like exaggerated, so. Kinda did what I was trying to do there, so that's good. Oh man, that did not fade. I played for the fade and it just went straight. It's not necessarily the the best place you want to be. I, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain it. If you ever if you've ever played Sunflower, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, golf! Golf is a crazy sport. It, as you guys, Bradley can replay it in slow mo, but that is genuinely right where I was aiming. I, I'm not just saying that. Sometimes you just play for the shot shape and it goes straight. Sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't. But unfortunately, my ball is lost. I'm going back to the tee to hit my third shot off the tee. Unfortunately, it has happened. And from that reaction, I feel like he striped it. What kind of bounce is that, bro? It landed in the center of the fairway, bounced left into the rough, but I'm fine. This hole's like this and then that, so you have to somehow just hit a miracle shot to even hit the fairway. Tig got pretty lucky there. His ball, I think, carried in the street and bounced back into the fairway. Yeah. I'm out of this hole, but two down going to the last three. I mean, I, I got a chance. I got a long ways to the hole. What do you think I should hit? Every bit of driver from 230. <laughs> I'm hit four. He's got four iron. He's going to have to smammer this one to get it there. All I'm saying is there's a chance in this match for me to win. Going to be short, but it was a really well struck shot. Um, he'll be about 30 yards short, 20 yards short. See if I can make me another birdie. Yeah, no, let's see if you can make another bogey. All right guys, so like Garrett said, he's landed in the middle of the fairway, but this is like a turtle back fairway in the landing zone. So got it kind of an unfortunate bounce, hitting a big swooper.
And if you are able to see that ball, it was turning hard. That thing basically was took a left turn. Yep. Right out of out of central. That was good. Guys, I don't know. I might be pretty close to the green. I might be a tad left, but I, I think Mike explained it. I had to hit a hook there. I pretty much gave TIG this hole after hitting one OB, but that happens, you know? So, it's dialed in. It's dialed in. About 30 yards from the pin. Two iron definitely would have been too high. Maybe. All right, so walking up the green here. Uh, mine's pin high. I got a chance to make this for par. TIG's going to get up now for birdie. And he's yeah, all Garrett the said mine was 30 yards. It, it might be 30 yards short of the pin. So. As far as short of the green, I'm, I'm just about... Maybe 15 paces there, so not really a bad shot. He needs to chip this in if he wants to have a chance. Oh, wow. Talk about bounces on this hole. Jeez, that is very unfortunate. That was a really good shot. Guys, honestly, if I'm not playing a match right now and I'm just kind of playing stroke play, I'm gonna be happy any day of the week after hitting it OB and if I make this putt for bogey. Like, plus that puts me at one over, which isn't good, but it could be worse. We got TIG here. This is to get up and down for a bird. And that went through my legs, folks. You guys can see it, but that camera recording skills right there is 10 out of 10. Got spooked by myself. Like, I spooked myself. And he hit a pretty solid putt there. For his par. After six holes, guys, I've got, I've got two up in this match. And I got to keep my foot on the gas here because Garrett's, like he said, there's three holes left. Let's rock and, rock and roll. Let's knock and let's, uh, let's, uh, cock to, yeah. <laughs> On to hole seven here, par four, dog leg left down the hill. I got two iron in hand. It's a pretty simple hole, but you really just got to play it up the right side, hit the fairway. I really need to make birdie here. Pins all the way in the back right, so honestly, anything in the fairway is good. All right, Tig getting nervous to hit a really good shot. We both got to avoid going left. That's, uh, that's the main thing here. And he did just that. Perfect shot. The right side. Imagine heating a knife up really hot and setting it on a stick of butter and then it just glides through the butter. That's how that felt. I just played it right and it went dead straight. And honestly, that's all Mike's fault, so. Are you serious? <laughs> I was <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's fight. It's okay, you win some, you lose some, and today I lost really bad. I was gonna say there's still hope in this match, but I think I just got slaughtered. But I'm gonna birdie it right here. What? I'm still gonna birdie this hole. I'm birdieing this hole. I'm birdieing this hole, guys. Guys, I thought that he was gonna be on the tee no. box. No. To be honest, I thought he was gonna be on the tee box. You also would probably tell me to hit like freaking four iron here too. You better hit seven. I'm gonna stop telling you what to hit because yeah. I believe in you. He actually got a really good break. I think the trees kicked it out. All right, guys, Garrett going nine iron back pin. Got a lot of green to work with. I like this play. This is going just right over. Look at the wind, bro. Is it gonna get there? Ah. Right side of the green. Honestly, Garrett, to get that onto the green. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Left side of the green. There you go. Gosh. There you go. Guys, the hope is alive. Hey, honestly, I hit that right at the pin, but the wind took that one straight left. So I got a putt. I'm happy as long as I got a putt. Um, and we got to hope Tig shanks this over the green. All right, so we made it to Tig's ball, and this is kind of what he's looking at. Perfect opportunity to, the wall is in play. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> he really did not want to go long there. So, he, he played a nice little shot, center of the green. All right, so there are two types of people in this world. You either hate losing more than you like winning, or you like winning more than you hate losing. And Tig hates losing more than he likes winning. Did that make any sense to you? I'm not. I'm just thinking about making this putt. It wasn't Garrett that was in my head. It was the fact that he was telling me that I was like gonna shank it and then I was gonna hit the wall. Garrett for birdie. This is a, a long putt. Wow. 
Wow. Okay, that was a. Uh, I knew the speed was going to be tough to judge there, but. Why is that so fast, bro? It's just not one of his better putts. The hope is limmering down to almost 0%. Let's just hope Tig knocks in a little three putt here. So he gave it to me. I'm pretty happy with that putt. Here now. Guys, this is to stay alive. Have you ever seen something that clutch in your entire life? Guys, I gotta give it to him. That was one of the clutchest putts that he's hit all day because that kept him in the match. I'm two up with two to play, so time for me to really dial it in here. Yes. <laughs> oh, Tig, oh, Tig. Hole eight, guys. I've birdied this hole many a time and it's not out of question here. It's about 185 yards up the hill. I'm gonna play my draw into the breeze and hopefully it straightens it out. The hope is alive, the hope is alive, folks. Tig with seven iron here. Oh no. That truly was one of the best shots I've seen Tig hit. I thought about hitting a really hard eight, but then I was like, no, just swing a 90% seven and hopefully the wind hit it just enough to put it in about 15 feet. Garrett, you going with seven or eight? Oh my gosh, this guy's hitting eight on. I think that was enough club, he just pulled it. Pulled that one, the wind didn't straighten it out as much as I would've liked. I think I just played too much of a draw. Let's see if we can knock this one in, guys. If I do make this, I will jump in a body of water somewhere in Kansas City really close to me. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. My ball's all the way down and over there. So I, I quite literally need to make this. So here's what I'm looking at. It actually landed almost pin high, you can see right there, and then roll, rolled out. Pin high left to the green. Like you said, he needs to make this. just gonna slide by there's really not much more you could do with that I mean that's a pretty good shot gonna run. I'm gonna guess that he's gonna two putt this so I really needed to make that I really fought hard out here guys it was a fun match so we'll see three putts definitely in play for Tig here let's see what he can do here down the hill this is definitely a knee shaker let's see what he can do guys these are the moments Tig lives for but that's gonna be like off the green and I'm gonna make mine, and I still have a chance if I make this. If he makes this, once again, it would be one of the most clutch things I've ever seen, so. Wow. And that just lifts out. Good hey, match. Here's your ball. That's unfortunate, guys. Couple bad mistakes to reflect on. Hitting one OB on hole six was really where the things changed. Other than that, I really had a solid opportunity to win this match. Lots of positives to take away from this. Lots of positives, and I'm ready to come back next match and dominate Tig again. Let me talk to the camera. Let it's, me... cur it's currently at 15 to nine. 15 to nine. Woo! Guys, let's get some hype in this premiere right now because I, I feel like I've been working so hard. The last three weeks, as you know, I've just been grinding. I'm telling you, I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited to get another win. I'm happy for And it, it's just been a long time coming. I've been working really hard on my game since in the last couple weeks. So if you're in this premiere, if you're still in here, thanks for watching, thanks for the support. Hope you guys did enjoy today's match. Stay tuned for next Sunday. Lots of cool matches to come, playing at different courses, traveling the freaking world, hopefully, in the near future. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy. Honestly, he played well, good for him took the dub. Once again, I'm excited for next Sunday. We'll see how I play. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, please be sure to stay tuned until the next one. Till next time. Peace out.